Hi, I'm the mummy, Kelly. This is Tyler. He is 10 years old. This is his little brother, Matthew, who's... Hi. What, how old are you? Five. And then that's uh, Daddy Gord. Hi. What do you think of your brother, Tyler? He's awesome. He's awesome. Why is he awesome? Because he's so cute. He's cool, and he talks to belts, and, he, and I give him big hugs, and he likes me, and I love him. And Tyler's situation is at three weeks old, he contracted bacterial meningitis, which caused a brain insult. And later on, when he was four months old, he was diagnosed with spastic quadriplegic cerebral palsy. Uh, so Tyler has uh, faced many challenges in his life. He's not able to talk. So he now has a high-tech device that he's able to control with eye gaze, and we also model it. He loves using it, he's able to play games on it, watch books on it, and he is able to learn his alphabet, numbers, many different things through this at school. And Tyler has had many surgeries as well due to having spastic quadriplegic cerebral palsy, which can cause his muscles to be tight. We went to New Jersey in 2015 and also 2019 to get a surgery called selective percutaneous myofascia lengthening and alcohol blocks. He got it done in his arms and his legs and it was successful in allowing him to have more movement, less pain, less muscle spasms, and this was a surgery that was not available in Canada. What is Tyler not able to do? He never, he never talks or, or never walks. Tyler is not able to walk, so he does require a wheelchair at all times. He uses his wheelchair at school and at home. He also has an accessible stroller that we use for convenience when we're out with him. Tyler has a Riften activity chair, which he uses for all of his meals. And he also uses it to communicate with his high-tech talker device. We have done various fundraisers in the past for Tyler. They've been very successful and we were able to purchase many things such as his Riften activity chair. But it has become very difficult to keep going with these fundraisers, especially since we had his little brother, Matthew, five years ago. It was becoming very, very hard. So we are just really thankful that this golf tournament that is being hosted by Remax is going to be able to support us because it's, it's amazing that they can do this for us. Right now, we are just in the beginning stages of making our home accessible. And we were trying to figure out how we were gonna be able to do it because it's gonna cost us probably over $30,000 or more to make it accessible for him. With Tyler getting older and bigger, we're looking at uh, modifying the house for his special needs. With everything that's going on here and the steps and everything like that, we wanna make it go really seamless for him to get into the house. So with the many steps going on here and throughout the house, this man door going into the garage isn't gonna work. So what we're gonna do is with the many steps here, it's not gonna work. So we're actually gonna move that man door over to this side and have a ramp in the garage so Kelly or myself can bring Tyler up the ramp and into the house smoothly without going all these steps. So with Tyler and all of us eating at the dinner table, it's not really a, a accessible thing for him. So what we're thinking about doing is making the kitchen more accessible and putting in an island. We'd be blowing out this wall here and then putting in an island here so we could all eat around the actual island and have Tyler in his wheelchair or his Riften chair under the island so we're all together. It means, it means a lot that you're doing this for Tyler because it's going to make a world of difference for him and for us to make his life easier and ours and put less strain on our family and just make it a more positive experience for everyone and make it easier on all of us as well because you're just going to continue to grow and continue to get bigger and just harder for us to manage. So this is the perfect timing. Thank, Thank you, you everyone. Yeah.